Hello kids, it's me again, back with another video. Now, I'm gonna pretend like it hasn't been three months since I last uploaded on this channel, it's fine. I'm here, that's all that matters. Today, I have something that, I don't know, this could either end up being something really cool or it can just be another one of my ideas that end up inevitably flopping, but I come to you today because today, I hope, I hope this is going out on the first, if not, um, then it isn't. Today, I come to you with a self-imposed challenge. If you want to join along, then you absolutely can, but you don't really have to. You don't have to, you know, follow the rules that I'm going to put in place. You can kind of maybe remix it a little bit for yourself, but I'm kind of getting ahead of myself. What is this, the self-imposed challenge? Well, you've already seen the title and the thumbnail. You know what it is. I'm going to call it 90 pages in 30 days. Every year for, I don't know how many years it's actually been going on. I think it's been going on for a while, but the first time I heard about it, obviously, was when I was in high school. There's this thing called NaNoWriMo, which is National Novel Writing Month, first bestowed upon me, and probably a lot of people, by John Green, uh, the vlog brothers, the, the writer brother, uh, not the, the science brother. And, you know, back then when I was a plucky young teenager, I was like, man, it would be so great to write a novel. And, you know, if ever I were to write a novel, I know it's going to take more than a month to do that because good lord, it takes me so long to do anything. It's crazy. You know, instead of writing a 50,000 word manuscript in a month, because I'm not going to lie. Listen, I know people do it, but for me, that's kind of a lot. And also, I'm not really that much of a novelist. I kind of wanted to put my own spin on it for the kind of writing that I primarily do, which is screenwriting. And, you know, I didn't really want to call it NaNoWriMo, also because they are kind of acting a fool this year. I don't know what's going on over there at NaNoWriMo HQ, but they kind of need to get it together. So I'm kind of giving it my own name and making it my own self-imposed challenge. And also, it's going to be really more than three months, and I'll, I'll get into the phases a little bit later, but... You know, this is something that I feel like is doable for me. You know, I've written a screenplay, not necessarily in 30 days, but kind of in the span of a month. It's actually the first one that I ever wrote, which I have a video about that on my channel, about the writing process and all of that. You know, it's not outside of the realm of possibility, but, you know, I am definitely busier now than I was when I, you know, wrote my first screenplay and made that video. So we're gonna see how this is gonna work out you know is this gonna be something fun or is it just gonna be another disappointment we will see so i guess now i can kind of get into the phases like what are the actual phases of this and why am i starting in october and not november when nanorama actually is so this is gonna be a three slash four phase process for me the first phase is gonna take place in october which is why this video is going out october 1st and october is going to be my planning phase now what i mean my planning phase this month I'm basically going to take the entire month to plan out my script. And for me, that's going to mean writing a treatment. If you don't know what a treatment is, basically it can take a couple of different forms. But the way that I make them is I go and I pretty much write out every single important scene, not really in screenplay format, but basically it's kind of like an outline. And I will use that outline to actually write the script. And I don't really consider this, I mean, I don't think it's like cheating or anything like that because, you know, a treatment and a screenplay are very different. Like, you know, I have the, the story beats, but I don't have the actual scenes themselves. So that does, however, help me a lot in the writing process when it does come to, you know, writing an actual script. And I don't think that's gonna take like all month. I can and have banged out a treatment in like a day, which I don't anticipate that happening right now because I still need to come up with an idea for something that I'm gonna write. And I don't wanna take the whole month to do that. I was going back and forth on a self-imposed rule. Should I be forced to come up with something completely new or can I, you know, rifle around in my, my, my suitcase of ideas of, of like uh, log lines and stuff that I already have written out and use that. And I think for, you know, the, the collection of story ideas that I have, some of them I do definitely want to spend a little bit more, you know, time on. Again, it's not really cheating because these are self-imposed rules, but today I got sort of a story idea and I mean, I wrote it down. Who knows if I'll actually go through with it. It might 
end up changing forms throughout this month. But this month, I'm going to focus on, you know, working out the plot, working out the characters, especially because I'm thinking I want to write something that's more character focused than plot focused. And also, I think I'm just gonna spend this next month doing some writing exercises because I have been in what feels like a several months long like writer's block. It's kind of crazy. I'm kind of starting to get out of it now, but I also have been just, I'm rusty. That's really the only way that I can describe it. Like I need to do some writing exercises. I need to do some practice. I mean, that's going to take different forms throughout the month, but I'm not going to be posting throughout the month. I will be, you know, recording certain sections at the end of each week. I'll be trying to do that. I will say that. I will try my best. I'm going to try to post a video at the end of October so that we can see where I am with the planning process. And then after that, we're gonna go to phase two, which is gonna be in November, and that'll be the actual writing process. November is when I'm gonna actually take the time to write. And so, you know, 90 pages, 30 days, it's very doable, that's what, like two, three pages a day? This isn't unprecedented for me. I have written a screenplay in a month, so, you know, this is definitely something that I can achieve, but I, I feel like November is definitely probably gonna be the hardest month out of all of these like definitely because that's the time that I'll actually spend writing and I know I said 90 pages but I feel like if it ends up being over 90 pages and that's probably fine um, I think that's the same with NaNoWriMo as well I think you can actually like win NaNoWriMo or something like that and in order to do that, you do have to get up to 50,000 words in your manuscript. No one's gonna be giving me a prize at the end of this. Well, we'll see because I still have to go through you know, each of the phases, you never know what might happen. It sounds simple, but we certainly shall see how it turns out. So that's gonna be November. December, that is when I'm going to take the time to do revisions on my work. And I'm not just gonna be doing this by myself because, you know, I don't think I can look at my own writing objectively. It, I can do it if I've had time away from it. Like if I set something down and then I come back to it months later, then I can kind of be a little objective about it. But I don't have the time for that in this particular challenge. So I will be using a service called Coverfly. I've used it before in the past to get notes on my writing. I'm not going to be using their paid coverage services because I'm not made out of money, but I will be using their peer-to-peer -peer exchange service called Coverfly X where you can go and you can post your screenplay, you can get notes on it, and you can also give notes on other people's screenplays. And I do have some tokens, it's not paid, but the way that you get tokens on Coverfly X is that you have to give feedback on people's writing. And that's also part of what I'm gonna be doing in October. I'll be planning kind of building up tokens in Coverfly so that when the time comes, I can kind of, you know, in December, I can post it on Coverfly and get some feedback. I'll also, you know, try to get some feedback from people that I know in real life, but at this juncture, there's not a lot of people that I know who are also screenwriters, so, you know, it's one thing to have someone read something and kind of tell you what they think about it, but it's another thing when the person also has, like, some screenwriting knowledge. So that's why I'm going to Coverfly X to do that. And I've also gotten really good notes on my screenplays when I have posted to Coverfly X. So that will be the bulk of December, we'll be revising. And at the end of December, I will hopefully come to maybe not necessarily a state of polish. You know, it's probably definitely going to be not a second draft, but maybe a one and a half draft after getting, you know, enough notes on my script. I'm gonna get I'm gonna try in December, or yeah, try in December to get as much notes from as many different people as possible so I can kind of compile all of their, you know, opinions about the strengths and weaknesses and kind of pinpoint what I need to change. After I do that in December, I will ring in the new year, 2025. It's almost here, can you believe it? I'm gonna try not to think about that too hard. In January, this is going to be the sort of fourth phase. I say sort of because it's gonna require very little participation from me. There is a service called The Blacklist and The Blacklist is a place where you can put your script onto this service and you know, you'll have industry professionals that will come and like actual industry professionals that will come and give you ratings on your script. The blacklist, you're not just, you know, throwing your script into a black hole. The latest example that I can think of, of a screenwriter, which I think in this case there's two screenwriters, they're a writing duo, have had their work taken from the blacklist and turned to a feature film, was the movie Don't Worry Darling, which I know people have their opinions about that movie. I found it to be 
entertaining, enjoyable. I would even go so far as to say I kind of like the movie. However, I do understand that it did go through a somewhat extensive rewrite since the whole development cycle of Don't Worry Darling, like that's, it's, it's a very interesting story. But I say all of that to say that, you know, two writers who put their script on the blacklist, direct, well, not a director because the director is Olivia Wilde, but I believe the producer of the movie saw it and was like, hey, let's take this and let's produce it. And, you know, I'm, listen, I, I'm gonna say this first. I do think I'm a good writer. Like, I don't care if that sounds conceited. I don't care if I'm in my Delulu. I do not care. I think I am a good writer, straight up. Like, I don't even know why I have to qualify that. Like, oh, I, I think the things that I make are worthwhile. What, what, a, what a concept, you know? But I think I'm a good writer. And you know, something that I've come to realize is that I'm sure any creative can speak to this, but not everything that you make is going to appeal to everybody. You know, the, the Nickel Fellowship, which is run by the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences, so like the people who do the Oscars, they have a writing fellowship that they hold. It's sort of like a part screenplay competition, but at the end you win a writing fellowship. They give you a certain amount of money and I think your only stipulation is that you have to write a screenplay the year after you win and attend some like writing summits and stuff like that. But they even acknowledge that, you know, they kind of encourage people who submit to submit multiple times year after year because one reader might not like what your script is exactly, but another reader who might have completely different tastes might think it's the best thing ever. You know, art is very objective. Wait, objective? subjective. I get those mixed up. It's crazy. Art is left to the interpretation. So, you know, I might put my script on the blacklist and there might be three people who think it's doo-doo garbage and there might be three people who think like, man, I want to get that on the silver screen tomorrow. But all that said, I don't really have very high expectations for putting my script on the blacklist. You know, all this is really just kind of an experiment. I kind of just want to do this and see what happens. You know, I kind of want to do this to say that I did it, you know? I want to do this because it just sounds fun to me. The idea sounds fun and I want to do it and I want to see if something happens. Something might not happen. You know, the likely outcome is that nothing will happen, but if something does happen, that's also pretty cool. But, and also, you know, be nice to document you know, the, the writer's journey. And given that I haven't been doing a whole lot of writing lately, I think this also might be a sort of decent way to like ease me back into it because, you know, I'm spending all of this month, you know, planning and practicing, essentially. So by November, I feel like I should be very ready to write my script. Those are the four phases. What'll happen in February? I don't know. Maybe I'll come to regret all of this in February or, in February, I'll be looking forward to next October for when I get to do this all over again, which I mean, I could just like write a script whenever, <laughs> you know, I could just like write one whenever. Or maybe in February, I'll finally be back on the horse, so to speak, and be able to finish all of the drafts that I have. You know, I'm hoping at least in February, by the end of this, that I learn something. That's the one thing that I want to get out of this. I want to learn something. You know, whether it be about improving my writing process or, I don't know, anything. I just want to learn something. And, you know, above all, this is supposed to be fun. I want this to be fun. Writing, once upon a time, it was fun for me. I do still think it is fun for me. But I feel like somewhere along the way, I've, like, lost the mystique of it. And I kind of want to get that back. So, you know, that is the 90 pages in 30 days challenge, I guess I'll call it. And um, yeah, I'm gonna spend the next few weeks doing a lot of planning and a lot of practicing. And if you wanna join me, that'll be great. But if you just wanna be along for the ride, that's also fine. That's kind of it for this video. Um, this is really just the announcement, so to speak. This is gonna be fun. I really think this is gonna be fun. I'm kind of excited. I'm, I'm really excited, actually. That's all I have for this video. The next one will hopefully be, you know, at the end of this month where I can say, I've got a treatment. I've written so many practice scenes. You know, I'm gonna, I'm ready to go. I wanna start November ready to go. You know, follow me on Twitter. I'm gonna call it Twitter. I don't care, I'm gonna call it Twitter. Until the site goes under, I'm calling it Twitter. Until it folds, eventually, cause it probably will. I'm calling it Twitter. Read my Medium articles 
and listen to my podcast. I have been on hiatus for like a while, but I've, I've been on hiatus from like pretty much all of my creative pursuits for a while, but I am getting back to it eventually. Eventually, we'll say eventually. So yeah, that's it for me. Now, if you don't mind me, I've got some log lines that I need to write. 